Talk about this developing story out of Grand Prairie this morning. Thousands of people still unable to use water more than 24 hours after the city asked them to stop. Yeah, that means no showering, no brushing your teeth, drinking tap water. This applies to everybody in Grand Prairie north of I-20. The city says its water supply is contaminated with firefighting foam. Classes are canceled again today for students in Grand Prairie ISD. And the big question now is when will it all be fixed? Yeah, Natalie, a dad lied this morning at Lone Star Park where the city has been passing out water bottles overnight. Natalie, you know, you realize how much you need something. Once it's gone, you're like, wait, wait a second. I mean, this is pretty serious. Don't know what you got till it's gone kind of thing. You never really know how important it is until you can no longer use it. But everything you see behind me is a result of the water contamination. Pallets and pallets of water stretch down this street. And then over there, you may be able to see the nice volunteers who are loading these pallets of water into cars. Uh, you know, it's going to take time to fix this contamination. And in the meantime, again, these pallets of water all belong to those affected by the contamination. It's in Grand Prairie residents north of I-20 by the affected by the water contamination. They won't be able to bathe, brush their teeth, cook their food with this water until tests from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality show it is free from the fire foam that got into it. Now that's going to take time to get those test results back, but we are hoping to get some information today, maybe even those test results. Meanwhile, we want to really press this. This is not a water boil notice. This is a do not use water advisory. Do not treat and use this water. Do not use the water period. According to the CDC, a do not use water advisory is issued when local health authorities believe that a community's water supply has been contaminated with harmful chemicals, toxins, germs or radioactive materials. Now, in this case here in Grand Prairie, we know that the materials contaminating the water is fire foam. Now, as a result, Grand Prairie schools are closed for the second day this week. In a statement, the district told WFAA we feel it's in the best interest of our students and staff to close tomorrow. It goes on to say we will continue to monitor this situation in anticipation of reopening Friday. So certainly the district has their hopes up that this will be resolved by tomorrow. Meanwhile, people can come here to Lone Star in Grand Prairie to get a pallet of well, I say say a pack, not a pallet, a pack of water where they will load it into your car. I think someone actually just pulled up behind us. We've seen some people trickle in, but uh, we will talk more about the details of what to expect when you come here at 530. So you'll want to stick around, Mark. Yeah, thank you, Natalie. I'm sure some of those folks could use a pallet of water, but you did hear Natalie mention that the reason why residents can't use that water in Grand Prairie is because it's been contaminated with firefighter foam. So the one found in Grand Prairie's water is called micro blaze out. And according to the product's website, it is non toxic to the environment and it's biodegradable. But that doesn't mean that there aren't any issues with exposure. That's why the company's safety data sheet says uh, you can get irritation to the eyes with potential exposure allergic reactions on the skin and also stomach discomfort if you happen to ingest it. Now, of course, we are staying on top of this story and we will share any updates both on air and online at WFA.com.